West President, and it was there they told her that since you don't the have the same name, the same name, Abigail appear could be that what she used. Jida Police Station, yes, please. Like I said, Ghana for a woman, no more pass, someone who makes me a Kobisa, a Kobisa, yes, sir. So, according to her, she said, So, Ghanaians translator, Angel, so Ghanaians in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, can go Arabia there. you can go to Jida Police Station and ask of a name Abigail appear yeah. could be if she has ever been arrested and brought to this police station about this, this, about issue. this issue yeah so she said when you have been arrested under normal circumstances it will take two weeks before you be processed and then they will deport you to your country according to her that very day they started the processing and then she was taken to immigration an immigration agenda and then the police officer who arrested her made a follow-up, made sure that she was deported. So according to her, at the immigration, that was where they did their final processing. So they have to take her to the airport. According to my sister, the police officer joined the car. As they reached the airport, the police officer excused the immigration officers and then called her to come. According to my sister, the immigration officer told her, lady, I am the one you call to come and help you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me sit. Wait. Starting from the four people kidnap. Repeat. Reverse the CD and repeat. Go back and repeat. Speech you, say, you say what? Speech and president. According to her, as the old man wanted to rape her, and she struggled with the old man and overcame the old man and ran away. She was on the street going, doesn't know where to, she doesn't know where to go. Before she had there was a car coming towards her. And then the car stopped that midnight, 12 mid around 12 midnight. The car stopped. And then there were four men in the car. And they, they asked her, where are you going? She said, oh, I don't have a place to lay my head. And they said, oh, if that be the case, join the car. We are going to find a place for you to sleep. So she joined the car. On their way going, about five minutes time, spiritual words for them, she said they cover her nose with a white handkerchief. That's all. She didn't see anything again. According to my sister, before she gained consciousness, it was a morning, it was morning, and she saw four men standing on her, and they told her that, say your last prayer before you die, because today we will kill you. Spiritual words for them, according to her, they are all armed, holding cutlass and gun. So she said... The only thing she remember was you, Angel Obinim, because she had been following on YouTube, so she had that faith in you. So she said, Angel Obinim, I have a child in Ghana. I don't want to die. Please come to my aid. Come and help me. And the people said, what are you saying? So one got angry, wanted to use the catalyst and cut her, and the other one stopped him. And they said, let's listen to what she's saying. And she repeated again, Angel Obinim, come to my aid. I don't have anybody to help me. Please come to my aid. I don't want to die and leave my child. Spiritual words present. Before she realized, she said, there's this big dog that came from nowhere. Started barking at the people, the four men. And they were running. The dog was chasing them. The dog was chasing them. And they all ran away. So she stood there speechless. Doesn't know what to do because she was panicking. Before she realized, the direction that the dog went, there was this young man coming from that direction. 
So she thought it was those, one of those four men. So she started running away. And the young man said, hey, don't run away. Stop. I'm, I am here to help you. So she stopped. As the young man approached her, the young man told her that, what is your name? I said, what is your name? He said, my name is Abigail Apia Kubi. And the man said, follow me. And the man took her into his car. So they drove off. On their way going, the man was asking her, uh, where are your traveling documents? And so it, it, uh, it is with those who I signed the contract with. But I didn't complete my contract because of the maturity that they were maturing. So I have to leave my document with them and run away. So I can't go for it because if I go, I have to serve the two years before my passport can be given to me. And the man said, don't worry. So they reached a point and the man said, okay, I will let you wait for me here. I will come back for you. So she alighted the man said, sit over there and wait for me. My sister said, the man drove her. She was sitting there waiting for this man. The man wasn't coming. Before she arrived, there was this police officer that is coming towards her. The police officer approached her and said, young lady, what are you doing here? And she said, I'm waiting for someone. The one police officer. One police officer. And the police officer said, what are you doing here? She said, I'm waiting for someone. And said, what are you? Are you a citizen? And she said, no. What are your documents? She said, I don't have it here. And the police officer said, then, you are under arrest. And the police officer arrested her, sent her to Jida police station in Saudi Arabia. Her name is Apia, uh, Abigail Apia Kubi. That's the name. Spiritual West President. It was there. She was interrogated. And then they told her that they are going to repatriate her. In other words, deport her. So they are on the process. According to my sister, under normal circumstances, when you ever they wanted to repatriate you, it would take two weeks. But in her own case, that very day, they stand on it and then started processing the document. After that, she was sent to an immigration officers. And then the police officer who arrested her follow up. According to her, after they finished the final processing, then she was taken to the airport. Future West President, according to her, it was that the police officer who arrested her excused the immigration officers and asked this lady to come. According to her, as she came, as she uh, came closer to the police officer, the police officer told her that, don't be afraid. I, am, I was the one you called to come and help you. I am Angel Obinim. I was the one who transformed myself into that dog physical and drove those four men away because they are on the verge of killing you at that moment. So the only thing I can do to help that is to turn into that dog and drive them away. So the young man that you see coming toward that direction, it is I, Angel Obinim. And it was I, Angel Obinim, that transformed myself into this police officer you are seeing now. So, this is the only thing I can do to help you. My sister said before she realized, she went off. She got up and she was wet with water. She was revived. And the police officer is still standing. The immigration officer was standing on her. And then the police officer asked her, so when you get to Ghana, how are you going home? She told the police officer, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. The police officer, which is you and your Rubini, dipped your hand into your pocket and gave her $200. 200 dollars give her 200 dollars that when you reach ghana you use it to do whatever you want to use it for special west president that is how you help her from saudi arabia and she boarded it egypt airline egypt airline and she landed at kotoka about two weeks ago she landed at kotoka so she said testify to the glory of god for such an angelic work performance I can't even talk po. Mm. Hey, how can you talk, Angel? <laughs> I'm the one who transformed myself as a dog. Dog, dog, dog physical. Physical. Me na me cram I'm the one who transformed myself as a dog. Me na me dane cram I bet you free. Ni pa four. I would different go me kun inzem. Mi kroya na me sada ne me ho be mana. U gane na ofro se bra. Na me bua na me sebu no. Mi kroya na me sada ne me ho police ni na ene onso. Me du ko police station. Mi kroya na masaye se ni pa ba ko four angel obini. One person angel obini. I am the same person who transformed myself into that dog 
to pounce on these gentlemen other than that they would have killed you by butchering you I transformed myself into that gentleman who was coming towards you I transformed myself into this police officer one person that is why we have been saying that Angel Binim can transform himself into any form of any object in this world a man, a woman, an animal smoke, rock it depends on the state and the condition in which you find yourself so for him to save you he would have to transform himself into something that he can save you through at ease people who are full of sense will really understand that because if Angelo Binim had tra transformed himself into a person, a gentleman fisker they are four they are armed they would have beaten this gentleman and killed him have you gotten the sense I am putting here? If Angel Obedim has transformed himself into a gentleman physical to face these people, they would have beaten him and killed him because they are armed. But for a dog, though they are armed, but they fear the dog, so they would definitely run. That is where sense is talking. That is why we call him Kwajo Nyansani. So serious. When I'm a catching a Ghana, me my Ghana new we are for the whole world before say. Yes. Never. Yes. That is why I said it in Ghana that I can transform myself into any animal, not to destroy anybody, but in times of need and difficulty. That is the adjective and underlying word. In terms and in times of need and difficulty, I would have to transform myself into set creatures to save my children who believe in me. Ghanaians didn't understand me. I didn't say I'll transform into animal to come and harm anybody. Oh, Ghana. Oh, look at what I've done for this lady. If I had not done that, this gentleman would have killed her. They would have killed her without doing anything bad to them. No, 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 no. Bulldog. Because the spirit is powerful than the flesh. Because the spirit is powerful than the flesh. Oh, never. I was Saudi Arabia. I began up here. Jida police station. Yeah, if you're crying, that the police in Nina, Mesaka, say you under arrest. They said that yes, I'm a chow. Yeah, I'm cool. CV said you told her the police station that this is the only process you can pass so that she will be deported. Now, my phone go police station. Process better make me from my mom, maybe what about Ghana? Because she doesn't have any document. Because I don't have any passport, anything. Because her oh, passport will make seize. They seize your passport. You don't have any document. So the only way I can get you repatriated or deported, repatriated and deported is through this channel. That is the only way I can get you repatriated and deported. Other than that, there isn't any channel. All your documents, your passport, everything is with your bosses. You sign the contract with. Angelo Binim's work, if you say you think about it, you, your head, your head, your head, you go mad. You go ah, yes. Angel. Vice President, I want to wisdom. Yes, sir. Me, Kamudo. You will never pass sure. by. You will never fade. Never. Me catch that gun of one the whole world for say. Me make him I just say, I'm too much and I'm near you. I just say it. I take up. I take up. Moment I'm too many one made the money party. You pass on free me now. Said that never because people want me now. See here, Sam Wano. You pay one minute. See here, Wano. Oh, yeah. You hear Sika Medemano, Awu Medemano, Ayarisa Mensani Alia, your power, we may work him under your purpose, I may. You are not sure to cry, I will hear me more, so I may come one or home. Metigan, I also may do Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah. 
That is why I said that never will I fade off. Angel, I said this Stone Boy song is for you. If you die today, you are a hero. You are a hero. You are a living legend, spiritual president. Because if I will fade off, it means that the kind of gift I am having is off. But the moment the gift is still working on me, in me, oh, a lot of people will definitely come to me. Because those who need money, they will come and I'll work it for them. So how can they go away from me? Those who need marriage, they are in and I'm working their marriage doors for them. Those who need a child, I am giving it to them. Those who are sick, I am healing them. Those who need their visa document, I am doing all these things for people. So how can I fade off? How can I? I am a legend and I'm a hero. So, so those who are watching me, please, I'm inviting you. Oh yeah. Those who are watching me, please, you are invited, you are a special guest. Maybe you are watching me in this country, Ghana here, or outside Ghana. Please, come with your problems. Any problems you have, any problems you have, come with your problems. Start giving, start giving, start giving. You better start giving. Cause if you want your blessing, then you start giving. Say who pay with Shira, cause you start giving. Start giving, start giving, start giving. You better start giving. Cause if you want your blessing, then you start giving. Say who pay with Shira, cause you start giving. Et tu m'as dit, yeah, um, bonnet. Et tu m'as dit, et tu m'as dit, yeah, um, bonnet. Oh, papa yen suye in Shira. Papa yen, papa yen suye in Shira. Oh, et tu m'as dit, yeah, um, bonnet. Et tu m'as dit, et tu m'as dit, yeah, um, bonnet.